All right, what's up, people, man? I want to open this real checks and balances, this video, not that trash movie coming out by a motherfucking coin, 2022 coin 12 Pro agent uh, from Barbershop Conversations, Fred. Not that delusional shit. And also what comes out of, the, out of this is, like stated, if Malcolm X was alive, he'll be looking at this independent, black independence. He'll look at you. Now, brother, you can take time to think about finding you a black sister. This is what he would state. But then this movie where Charleston White, I'm putting this first part of this video, speaks about this film. Being a film where Malcolm X is resurrected from his death to come back and avenge um, or to take out those who created, uh, um, committed crimes against black youth, being uh, uh, George Zimmerman, Michael Marcus Brown, killers, and you name the list of them, that he'll come back for that. Rather than coming back for with solutions, where he find the goofball Charleston White to put in the film. Salute to the brother that shared this video from the goofball Charleston White, speaking about this movie and giving me more insight on what this trash film is about. And as I go back to give real checks and balance, as I speak about this, because this dude don't know who Malcolm X is, delusional and lost. That this what Malcolm X will come back from death to go about doing. Let's listen to Charleston White. Speak about this film, giving me more, more insight to open up on this Cointel Pro implant. But check. Man, shout out to my man Frederick. Uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to my man Fred Frederick. Uh, movie dropping May 19th. Uh, this movie here for to be so controversial. Uh, this bitch for to do numbers. Uh, the thing about this movie is just like gonna be one of the first Malcolm X movies. Uh, and in this movie, Malcolm X, he come, he come back to life, and he come back to life to avenge all the wrong that didn't happen. So uh, in this movie, Malcolm X go get George Zimmerman. Uh, he go get uh, a Mike Brown killers. Uh, he go get Eric Gardner's killers. Oh man, I say this is gonna be a bad ass movie, man. I'm talking about ooh, and this bitch go get some awards. They say, but the controversy that it's gonna cause. Can y'all imagine, nigga, Michael Max coming back to life, reincarnated, and he coming to get George Zimmerman? Won't nobody else get him, so they had to bring Michael Max back to life. This motherfucker fit to do, I'm talking about, nigga, this bitch fit to do numbers. So, uh, the name of the movie is called Checks and Balances. Uh, they put me in it, because, you know, uh, I'm who, who more... Who more to put in a controversial movie than one of the most controversial figures in America right now? Boom, 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 boom. boom. Say, man. Ooh, this bitch is finna be live, man. Uh, you one of the main characters. Uh, I'm one of the characters in the movie. Yeah, just know that, nigga. But yeah, I'm one of the characters in the movie. All right, there you hear it, man. Coons and balance. I mean, checks and balances. Uh, this new trash film being released by... Our lost delusional brother Fred Harthon, uh, you know, Whittier, one percent black population politician. Um, uh, but it like I stated before, if Malcolm X was alive, he will resent people like Frederick Harthon. And the fact that you will create a film to depict him to only want to come back to go about marauding, committing fucking acts of violence, and you state that you study what what Malcolm X is about the Nation of Islam. As you knew, they were fucking nonviolent movements. There's no threat to them. There's no repercussions to a person who's not done any threats to them. But if you understood the time period of the 1960s, 1950s, very volatile time periods. No different. What we see in this fucking uh, 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 baby mush, baby shit, Charmin tissue soft type shit going on in our time period. But during Malcolm X's time period, I think things were a little bit more volatile, a lot more heinous and vicious and violent shit that they dealt with in that time period. Was he some sort of fucking violent character that went about avenging people through murder and all that stuff? I don't think so, Frederick. And the other actors casted in this damn film, why depict Malcolm X in that light? Well, you know Malcolm X is a Muslim, and most Muslims are nonviolent unless the threats are put upon them and then you fucking have to uh, uh wave the white flag and beg for mercy when dealing with the vengeance that they would that they could bring to you um but uh this is just buffoonery at its highest level 
delusion, uh, uh, creating a film to where Malcolm comes back as a dude only seeking to murder those who have murdered people and publicize media driven uh, um, events. But you don't think Malcolm would come back to want to sit with the community, to organize, to uplifting and educating the black community about black men being men to their women? And he'll probably look at you like, hey, brother, you can give it a thought of finding you a goddamn sister. I think that's probably what he opened up stating to you. But then again, love is love. So you can't take that away. But I don't think the thing will be for him to become resurrected and resurrected. Jack in the words are resurrected from his death to only come back to commit crimes that would probably incarcerate him. So now you put him into where he becomes an incarcerated guy who goes about liberating and avenging something that the families of these victims should be avenging, not him. But you don't put it in there to where he comes back to continue upon his message to see where people have gone wrong to bring it about an uplift and a solution because it's the one thing that's always been missing when Fred did have great shows was the key pieces that were always missing solutions to things. A lot of times solutions were things brought up in the comic sections or people on the show and it was never gotten around to something that people love to excuse and not to create solutions of how people move and this and that. And usually these things are formulated through conversations. A lot of people just think it's throwing money at it, money, 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 and this and that. No, it's changing the consciousness of people, changing the mindsets of people. And what we see going on inside of society has nothing to do with fucking money and everything to do with failures within our fucking communities, the households, the education, our push for education, ensuring that our kids are in school learning. Cutting away materialism. There's a lot of solutions you can touch on. But to bring Malcolm back, X back, to go about killing people, I think you got the point lost to who this guy was. And many people do. Where see, And I see people have these ill interpretations of shit. They see Malcolm at the window with the, with the uh, rifle in his hand and just think it's on some gangster shit. Oh, he ready to kill. We have many revolutionary groups. You study you from Los Angeles. You know about the Black Panther organization shootout with the Los Angeles Police Department. The reasoning why the police department created SWAT teams when in 69 were the fucking Black Panther groups get into a big massive shootout with the police department in the 70s. Those are things if you want to play about liberating and avenging some shit that you can go back to. But that shit is too black for you. And I guess you probably don't even know about it. Because you can't find it in too many books or it's not popularized or it ain't nothing for you to create divisions amongst two people with your Cointel Pro shit. But that's all I got, folks. I'm on people's neck. My main channel is down. I'll be back up in a week. You'll see me with more lives checking shit. Now the nigga got y'all watching some white women give y'all relationships on on a, 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 a attracting or finding your woman and shit. Come on, man. <laughs> That's the check and balance this fucking video right here. Peace.